Good morning. Yesterday, something almost horrible happened. I had to think all night long about the accident from yesterday. I was thinking all day long the accident from yesterday, and yeah, I didn't feel good about that. But today we're doing great and we're ready to push our kilometers forward. But today goal is to reach a glacier located at Second National Park. It's like seven, eight kilometers away from here. So hopefully it will be very beautiful views and <laughs> this is what you want. So hopefully we will film a good view today and, and hopefully we will see the glacier because of the fog. The fog is literally everywhere and it's kind of blocking everything from the view. You can see anything. Yesterday the visibility was like 10 meters, not more. You can't see anything. You can see even the cliffs. Where is the edge of the mountain? So. It was extremely strong fog. And around the glacier it will be a lot of rivers. Because of the melting glacier and how you know it's flood events happening in Norway. So the old rivers will be extremely flooded, same as yesterday. But there it will be no falling waters, hopefully. Because yesterday we were seeing the drop, it was like literally 10 meters away was a falling water. With a 600 meters drop, yesterday I checked on my, on my other phone and I get shocked when I see the view. So we are, we can say like 800 meters altitude and the drop was like it's 250 meters and it's going all the way up to 800 meters 850 meters So you just can imagine how we end up, how horrible it would end up. So yes guys, I was sleeping with my clothes on because how I told yesterday, all the sleeping bag is soaked, wet, thanks to the Gregory company. So yeah, let's eat some oatmeal and let's push kilometers. Let's go.
mountains is harder than the first national park. Oh, finally. I need to find some table to place my backpack with Simbad. Hello? How are you doing? I literally walked like four hours and I didn't hurry up because somebody say, oh, it's the difficult part, so I find blueberries everywhere. I just oh. take it slow, take it easy. So you came from Sheldibu, yeah? I came from Lindesness. Ah. 470, 470 kilometers we have in our score. Much people here? I think uh, five and eight. Yeah. 
Uh, they have place with the dogs or? I saw at least a dog cage there. Dog cage there, yeah? Yeah, yeah. But it's probably not possible to sleep there just for the dog because some cabins they have rooms with the cage so you can sleep with the dog yeah, because he will howl like a wolf all night long <laughs> okay. so i need to put tent down probably i don't know if i have a yeah i just saw that there is firewood and you know but i think it will be all, all too small for him anyway anyhow yeah. okay mm -hmm. i will have a look thank you very much yeah, People already sleeping here. Whew. So it's perfect evening for me. I got free dinner. The Norwegians told that they will want to buy for me the dinner. I told what I'm doing and they say kid, we will buy for you dinner. So for you guys, for kind women who serve me hot chocolate and make for me even the dinner and bought for me the dinner. Some potatoes with some ham in cans from these cabins. Thank you very much ladies. I appreciate a lot, it means a lot as always and, and you know, every little support it helps us a lot because we have very long way to go and it's just barely a start, it's almost 500 kilometers we make, it would be more exactly 471 kilometer we have now on our legs with Sinbad, so we're doing great and you guys doing great by supporting us and thank you for positive vibes. No mosquitoes is everywhere I can see on the camera. So thank you for the help. And this is how day 34 will end up. Actually, I have some changes. I want to say I will stop counting the days. Instead, I will say which month now is and which day of the month. So it will be easier for me to remember because now sometimes I get messed up in my head and I forgetting it's 33 day or it's 34 days we on the road or it's even 35 so it's better if I just look to the calendar and I show for you the calendar and you know which day it is and how it's going on and blah 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 I'm so tired guys it's beautiful evening tomorrow is probably raining as always and tomorrow we have a lot of walk I think it's around 20 kilometers to reach to reach the other cabin bed some Norwegian couple tell me that I have Wi-Fi and hot water in the other cabin so it's crazy I don't know how Norwegians manage to build this stuff in the middle of the mountains in the middle of nowhere but bravo but bravo for you guys you're doing very hard job and very good effort you're doing very hard job and hard effort to make people like me feel comfortable on the roads, on the mountains. So Norwegians is a tough builders. This is what I can say for sure. They have longest tunnels in Europe that we will walk actually in two days, but we will not walk in this tunnel. We we will walk. Oh, sorry. We will walk around the tunnel around the mountains it's gonna be about 45 kilometers and we need to reach city called Lardal or I don't know how it is exactly but something like this because my new package with food is arriving there and I have only four days worth of food for Sinbad for me it's okay because I can always go to the cabins and buy food from there but for Simbad, I can't do mistakes because I can make my dog starve. Because I can make my body starve, I need to take care of him. So yes guys, day 34 is over. Good night, sleep well, 
and enjoy warm beds. <laughs>